Hanksy, congratulations on being named vice captain of the team for 2023. What was it like knowing that you were voted in as vice captain? What were the thoughts going through your mind? Yeah, I'm really honoured, really like initially a shock and sort of like it took me a few hours even to just get my head around it. I think Kate and I were both sort of like just really flustered and um, overwhelmed, but really honoured to just yeah be voted in by the group. And it's not something that I sort of chased or, you know, needed in this early in my career, but um, yeah, really respect the position that it is and hopefully I can have a good impact in that role. As you said, it's only early in your career, you've achieved so much at the age of just 23. What do you think you'll bring to the role, at, you know, from your experience within the club? Yeah, I think sort of getting a lot of feedback over the last few weeks um, while we've gone through the whole, whole process has been really good for me. And I think just being myself and um, I think my footy IQ and my experience in footy is what a lot of my teammates respect and um, trying to just empower them, sort of like what Daisy and Paxi and all those girls have done for me. So trying to make sure that I can keep bringing people along our journey and it's not just these people with leadership titles, but. I think that's a big role that um, I'm looking to try and yeah, impact the other people around me. You mentioned just now Daisy, Paxi, they've left such a big mark. You know, Paxi's obviously still in team but took a step back from the leadership role. And then Daisy, you've spoken about it a lot, I know, but how important has their impact been on your journey to, to get to this point as a leader? Yeah, I think um, it was really special just to have Daisy there the other night. I think knowing that the second she walked in the room, you can sort of just feel her impact. Um, so she's had a huge impact on me and um, everyone in the whole program from staff to players and everyone that's been through it but I think even just hearing her say that like she's still there and she's still such like a point of call to um, lead on if I need I think that's really good for me in my sort of leadership role but she's had a huge impact and then even Paxi like a couple of seasons ago was really selfless and took herself out of the leadership um, position just to give an opportunity like me and some of the other girls to have a shot at it um, with the title but She's still the same leader and we really love and respect her, but um, yeah, she really did a selfless thing for, for me and some others. We're heading into the back end of pre-season, which is crazy it's gone so fast. In two weeks, we'll have a practice match against Carlton. How's the group tracking heading into those matches? Yeah, I think we're in really good shape. We've been out at Casey quite a bit, which has been a little bit different for us, but um, we've loved it out here and having sort of everything in our facility and uh, mixing with the boys and everything like that. It's been really good, but um, we've trained really well. I think we're going to have a lot of selection pressure, which is um, a really good thing. It's a challenge, but um, I think everyone's just training really well and we still know we have so much to improve on our game style and um, we've worked really well through that so far. So we'll keep doing that leading into the practice matches. It's going to be a topic of conversation heading into the season, but obviously we're the reigning premiers. Do you think that there's a vibe of we're still, yeah, still wanting to improve? We've still got a long way to go. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think like it's obviously a really good achievement and we're really proud of what we did last year, but it's last year and it doesn't guarantee you anything going into a new season and especially in AFLW, every year is so different. Um, so we take a lot of good things out of what we did last year, but then we also see so many areas that we can keep getting better and you have to, you have to keep evolving and you can't stay the same. So I think we're really excited by that challenge and yeah, it's not really about trying to recreate anything we've done. It's all about trying to improve what we, what we can work on.